Hello and welcome to today's class. Today we have this math challenge here. It's an integration question uh, with limits. But the limits uh, are given in logarithm form. So we have uh, the integral of x dx within the limit of uh, the upper log 20 base 2 and the lower log 5 base 2 equal to the log m base 2. So here, yeah, are we looking for x or we are looking for m from this system here? Okay, so let's see uh, what we're actually looking for. So I want you to stay from now to the end of the class to actually know if we have to look for the two variables or we have to look for only x or only m. All right, if you look at the question, it might look so hard complex, but it's as simple as was saver. So let's go into this challenge and see what this gives us in turn. So we're going to follow some simple rules, some simple steps in um, uh, integration and logarithm. Okay, we're going to apply some laws of integration and logarithm to solving this. So the question is given a this. So the first thing we're going to do here, without writing this question down again, is to integrate our x within this limit here. So we know that if you integrate your x, that is going to give us x to the power of 2 all over 2. So here we're going to have x to the power of 2 all over 2 within the limit here and this. So let's put our limit. So we have log 20 base 2 and here we have the lower limit log 5 base, oh sorry, this is log 5 base 2. Everything equal to the log of our m base 2. Good. So we can bring out this um, a 2 at the denominator here. So rewriting this, it's going to give us our 1 all over 2 into our x, then the upper limit we have log 20 base 2, and here we have log our 5 base 2, everything equal to log our m base 2. So let's continue here. Now if you check out this so far, let's go ahead and uh, this is square, please. Oh, sorry. So let's go ahead and put in this value, the upper and the lower limit. So, so this is going to give us our 1 all over 2. Then into, here we have our log. The first one is log 20, base 2, right? All raised to the power of 2 minus bracket log 5, base 2, all square. Let's close our square bracket equal to the log of our m base 2. Is it right? Good. So here we are having this raised to the power of 2, this raised to the power of 2. So we have what we call a difference of 2 squared, which says that when you have your x, uh, let's use a, right? So we have your a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2. This is equal to bracket open your a plus b, close bracket, bracket a minus uh, b. This is what we call difference of 2 squared. So we can equally apply that to this expression here. Okay, so if we apply this, this is going to give us our 1 all over 2. Then let's take our square bracket. So the first one is going to give us log 20 base 2 plus log 5 base 2, close bracket, bracket, log our 20 base 2 minus log 5 this two close bracket or into our square bracket this is equal to log m base two i believe this is clear right good so what's the next two we do here now yeah we are having a plus sign here and there is a law in logarithm that deals with this and we're having a minus sign so a law in logarithm which says that if you have your log your m okay let's use a times b right this is equals to the log of your a plus the log of your b okay this is the multiplication law and we also have the division law which says that if you have your log your m oh wow i'm always using m we are considering uh, a and b here so a all over b said so this is equals to log your a minus log your b all right so we have this we have this here now so we want to change this to the multiplication and change it to division and so we're going to have our one all over two 
do our square bracket here. So I have here log 20 times 5, close bracket, this 2. Then we have here everything here is multiplying. Okay, uh, let's take this together here. Then here we have here log our 20 divided by 5, or in bracket, this 2, close bracket, equal to our log m base 2. Is it right? Good. So what we do next here is just to look out for terms that are, um, okay, multiply out rather. So if we multiply this, this is going to give us 1 all over 2. Then we have this to be bracket log 100 base 2, okay, close bracket, then into our log. If we use this to divide this, it's going to give us 4 base 2, close bracket, then equal to our log m base 2. Okay, so with what we have here now, it is pretty easy. We can rewrite this log here. We can probably rewrite this log here. Remember, we can split this to uh, 2 to the power of 2. Okay, so if we split this to power of 2, we move this backward, it's going to give us log 2 base 2, which is going to give us 2 at the end of the day, right? So we're going to have your 1 all over 2. Bracket log 100 base 2, close bracket, times R2 equals to log M base 2. What I just did here is simple. Look at what I did here. Your log 4 base 2 is the same thing as log your 2 to the power of 2 base 2. If we apply the power rule, we move this backward. So this is going to give us our 2, the log our 2 base 2. And what is log 2 base 2? It's 1. Okay? So this will end up giving us 2. And that is how we got these 2 here. Now, mind you, we are divided by 2 on this other side. So these and these cancel out. So I'm now left with our log 100. This 100, please. Let me write it where. Okay, 100 base 2 equals to log m base 2. Wow, so we're having log base 2, log base 2 on this other side, and we're having your equality sign. So what happened, this, this leaves the system. So we're now having m is equal to 100. So in other words, we are actually looking for the variable m and not x. All right, so this brings us to the end of today's math class. If you learned something from this video, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. Remember, this is Online Math TV. Drop a question in the comment section. See you there. Bye, for now.